Nearly two months after Malaysian Airlines flight MH17 crashed in East Ukraine, large parts of the aircraft and personal belongings of victims are still lying out in the open, alongside flowers laid out by local residents. It is hoped that a ceasefire now enforced in the area between the Ukrainian government and Kremlin-backed insurgents will allow investigations to continue. The investigators were here for about two or three weeks. They've examined Rabova, where the plane crashed. Then they told us, a commission will come, we will come again. And we said, of course, come. Come, you're all welcome. It's a great grief. Everyone here understands. They said the relatives of victims also want to come here. And we said, of course, come, we always offer you a cup of tea. Ukraine and Western countries have long accused Kremlin-backed insurgents of shooting down the plane with a missile provided by Russia. A recent BBC report revealed eyewitness accounts of Russians operating a BUK missile launcher in the area where the MH17 jet was shot down just hours before the plane crashed. A preliminary Dutch safety board report into the tragedy says the crash was caused by a, quote, large number of high-energy objects penetrating the plane's fuselage. But the board says it could take a year to draw out final conclusions. All 298 people on board MH17 lost their lives. Many of the victims' families are still trying to find closure.